Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello, guys and gals, gremlins of all kinds. Welcome to Gremlin Productions. I'm Ray. We're back with Franbo. Um. Yeah. Uh. I know what you're probably thinking. Hey. I thought you were playing Security Breach next, which I am. I'm just trying to finish up Franbo while I wait for that to load and stuff like that because our internet's not great. So I decided while I wait, let's continue some Franbo. Also, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> okay. That's my popcorn and candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's 2.36, we have great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to our third reality. Are you excited, friend? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. Jeez, Fran, calm down. Mr. Midnight, now's not the time, stop! Ah, I dropped my cap. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I just like, came home from a long day. Ah. Eee! Okay. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Huh. That sounds strange to me, sir. Friend, you're being really mean to it, word, and I really don't appreciate it. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. Okay. I feel like that's pretty important. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Oh wow! Oh, okay. <laughs> I like I like his driving mechanism. Very nice. <laughs> Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Ooh. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. It is true, guys. It's true. Mm. <laughs> but now, friend, we have to go get things done. Talking won't take you home. That is true. Sadly, talking will not take us home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Um, I've never done this before. Like, anything like this before? That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. Okay, um, by the way, guys, if you have any, like, game recommendations or, like, you know, because I've, I've got a few games on my list that I'm dying to play. I've got some games. I've got some. Don't worry, don't worry. Got some tape. I just learned to start clicking things with this game. Shoe. What's this? Ew! Ew! No! That is disgusting! Is he removing? Oh, sir, sir. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi! It's the robotic cat. Well, goodbye. Oh, let's talk to Mr. Man. Did it word say something about volumes? This mess. Edward doesn't know about hygiene. <laughs> Apparently not. We get a pencil. Already have a crayon. Hmm, are those to drink water? They are quite small. Friend, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? Oh my goodness. 
this. Oh, okay. Do we... Do I need to put this in here? I won't even try that. Okay. Okay. Hmm, it's totally empty. Does it need fuel? Ah, oh, there we go. It's not full. Oh! Fix that. There we go. And turn that. Assuming flip that. I'm assuming that needs to be down. I'm gonna just turn it on. <laughs> okay. Do I need... Thing. Oh no. Wait. Oh god. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Get back somewhere. Blue hose ready to use. Assuming that means this. So we need this to work. Somehow. Can I like... has no flowers. What, do you want them? No? Ooh, does this need fuel? No. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, let's explore some more. Let's explore. Let's go. Let's go lasses and lads. Okay. Thinks this machine counts. Mathematical problem. What's this? Looks like something is missing. Well, a key, obviously. He's got a lot of shoes. The store's closed. We see if it word can open it later. It's a door, but it's closed. Okie dokie. Nothing with shoes.
I did it! Oh no! Is that what this is? Ah! Okay. Reality view. Ultra reality view. Oh no. Okay. Here, hold on, let me look at it. Barberries. should be turned on in order to work. Oh. Oh crap, I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do. Dang it, okay, wait. So the big one needs to be N166. N166. Okay. And then the second one be R15 and then the one next to it needs to be 2PF. So R15 and then 2PF needs to be that one. And then A118 and AM or AFM. Da -da 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 -da. Missing. Run. Where is that? Where's AMF? Oh no. Wait, do I need to make it? So it needs to be turned on its side. Plugged in. It needs to be flipped over that way. And that needs a match. Flipped over on side. Flipped over this way. Wait, what'd it say about the handle on top? Okay, so it needs to be on that side. Okay. my pills you know we're not gonna talk about that I can't do why not 
set in the ultra reality. Seconds and minutes, hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Seconds and minutes, hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. So she's just gonna stand there. There's another pipe, or thingy, thingy in the jig. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just, we'll take those off now. <laughs> so what are those? I have a blue. And you stretch across there and pink needs to go from it. That needs to go there. And that needs to do that. And then this should go there. Okay. Cool. But I need that extra chemical, but I don't know how to get it. What I need is a match, first of all. Oh, wait, we have a match. I have matches. There's no gas coming in from the- wait, what? Oh. Whoops. What do you mean there's no gas? It has water in it. What do you mean? Hold up, let me... Do I need to light that a flame? Yeah, buddy. I don't know what that's doing, but okay. Wait, if I is there something I can do? I don't know. This is actually hurting my brain a little bit. <laughs> guys. It's actually hurting my brain. Okay, let's look at this again. Hold on. So... Water. So we can get- we put water in there. And get that turned. So we turned a bunch of times. It's flipped up and then down. That's over to its side. Match. Go over inside. Put that over. And then turn. Do you need. I'm trying. There we go. <gasps> you dirt bag! Turning it off. Can 
I put the fireberries in there? Oh, look! Oh! It's already set that way. Oh! Uh-huh. Hmm. that you know like I feel like that's that's important you know A M F Oh that's the fireberries Oh it's the fireberries oh I'm so big brain Driver, do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well, too. Thank you. I did all you asked of me. Huh. <laughs> Very well, friend. Seems to be working perfectly. Yes, because I'm so big brain that you don't even know. I like popcorn. <laughs> yes, everything's working absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. It depends yeah, I agree with Fred. Because if it's a terrifying rabbit with four mouths, then then we're gonna have some questions. Or like <laughs> Like if it's a rabbit from the ultra reality, then we're gonna have some questions here. But if we're talking fluffy bunny, that like, will love you, then we'll be okay. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. <laughs> Honestly, Fran, is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. But show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. So you're telling me you had me go through all this stuff, do chemistry, set up a boiler for you, and now we're going to get a rabbit? Okay, this better be terrifying. Is that it? Oh, it's adorable. It looks like Peter Rabbit. It word you're ridiculous. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't it that strange behavior? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit to show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, okay. If you insist. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There is nothing to be afraid of. Hey! 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 Excuse me! Edward! I trusted you, douchebag! Hey! Meanie? Ooh. Battery. Give me that. Yes, I found a battery. Okay, well, let's touchy touch everything. Oh, I already know. I already know. I already know. Give me that. 
Give me that. Give it. Give it right now. Give it and I'll do this so good. I'll do this so good you won't even know. So amazingly well you just couldn't even. Yeah. I'm so freaking good at this. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Cool, did whatever that was supposed to do. Oh, they already pushed that. But, uh, oh. Let's not do that. <gasps> it was full bad. <gasps> oh, I see now. Okay, that'll help me a lot. Okay, we're gonna leave that. Another pencil! We, friend, why don't you take the pencils? They seem quite useful. Also, I noticed these numbers. One. There's four, two, and five, and then three, which I'm sure we'll have to figure out, but let's go up first. I want to see what's up here. Uh, why are we on our pills? Could we, like, not, maybe? Are you? Yeah, mommy and puppy. It's like Papa and my oh, mommy, puppy, madre. Oh. Are you here? Please tell me. Okay, can we spray them with water? <laughs> spray them. Spray them with water. Oh crap! Hold on. Spray them with water. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Wait, can I fill this? Use. Use with this. Use with the teapot. Yeah, we got water. We got some water. We got some water. I have no idea why. I wonder where it's from. Hello, there's nobody in there. I don't know why there would be. Oh, I see a little dot. <laughs> um, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. Assuming there's a code for that somehow, even though there's no numbers. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Let's go back down. I'll open my cheese, actually. Ooh, is that like the ones and stuff? Yeah, let's see what one is. Again. So one is a line. So it kinda looks like a one. Four. Okay. Two. Okay. Like, I don't know how that would help. We gotta kick. Ooh, hey. Here. Nothing, of course. Wait. Oh! Oh, it looks like me now! <laughs> it looks like little Fran! It's a Fran bunny! That's really cute. Wait, did it switch to? Oh, that's nine! To the side. Eight. Oh, there's arrows. Here, I want to see if this guy will, will take a- <coughs> Nummy? Oh, I know why we need the carrot. Because he's in the way. And the only way to get to see the thing in the back would be for him to be chowing down. So five is that way. Okay, now that doesn't make any sense. Five. Four is six that way. 
put where do we need to put? I'm assuming on the door? That's up there? But they're standing on it. Well, what am I supposed to do? They're standing on it. I can't reach it. They, they died on the door that I need to get to or see. Oh! It's a certain amount of certain times um, a certain way. So, and then it went from one and two and three. Okay, okay, hold up. I need paper. 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 Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go down here. Guys, I'm using my big brain here. My biggest brain power. You guys have no idea. Also, I'm really hoping that this game is over soon. Because I got other games to play, and we, we, we've been doing this game for a long time. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Franbo. I'm just really excited to see the ending. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. is eight to the right. Let me get a carrot. Use with you. Two is five right. Which was three? The one in here. Okay. Eight left. And this was four. Six right. And then, last but not least, nine left. Okay, I really hope this is right, or else I just did that all for nothing. Let's go. Okay. Let's see! After this, I'm gonna be so good at puzzle games. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? Oh, oh, it worked. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, dark. Oh, I remember. Hold up. Let me push it. Button. Ah! Why'd that actually scare me a little bit? Surprise! Happy birthday! Shut up, it word. Really, it word? So you did all that just to tell me happy birthday? You made me use my brain. How dare you? It's the worst birthday ever. Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. Oh, God, no kidding. That scared me, for, to be honest. I thought I... Because it was my beloved, okay? <laughs> we lied to you in order to keep your attention in the other direction. I'm really sorry I had to pull you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. At least someone remembered my birthday. Can we get some happy birthdays for Fran in the comments? Happy birthday. <laughs> the cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. If I know anything about cats, I'm pretty sure he just told you everything that he would have wanted in the cake. <gasps> and 
We have something very special for you. From all the members of the ship. That means all of us. Naturally born and handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. What is that? What if I just sit here and stare at him instead of opening it? <laughs> okay. Just sit here in awkward silence. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, I love it so much. Thank you. It's beautiful. Aw, I like it a lot, actually. But if this is for Inbo, that's not just a doll. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? The ultra reality is what I see. Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Well, yeah. That's kind of what we've been looking for this whole game. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. Oh my goodness. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. I'm surprised I was able to pronounce that. <laughs> it gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have different perception of environment, and it's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> that may that may be the ship going up and down. Blow the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really well, how exciting. All right, here I go. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> I love how soon as I say that. No, no, no! <laughs> Look at Fran's face. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Friend, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by Kamala's. Oh, there is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now, and it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh, oh, I think I know where it is. 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 Let me go. Let me go. I know where it is. I know what that teapot was for. It's just no normal teapot. You can't trick me with your teapot. Oh, it's so here. It's so here. That's fine. You know, I, I didn't feel smart for a minute or anything. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't feel. Okay. Sploosh! Die, bitch! You know what? I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, hello. Are you, are you here? Why don't you talk to me? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you here now? There you are, you douche. Oh. Die, bitch. Oh, you're kind of stupid. Oh, I might be a little stupid too, but it's okay. Die. Oh, you're you're really dumb. You are the best friend. Yeah, here we go. Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. Oh, no! I'm 
actually gonna cry. Oh no. They were so close. Everything was destroyed. I'm actually might be on the brink of tears right now. And No! No, 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 no. There is no way. But that is a very sad ending. It it word I'll never forget you good now it's time to sleep no you can't do that he better not be dead please please don't he cannot be dead are you kidding there's no flip-flopping way that that's what, how it ends. Oh, I'm dear! <gasps> it word? Wait, where's it word? Where's it word? Oh, kitty, we are alive. We survived the cash. Oh dear, <gasps> yes, we are alive. And somehow not broken bones? I don't, I don't know how that works. Explain that to me, game. Explain that one. Yeah, <laughs> but it, we're just gone. But he brought us home. We are outside of town, friend. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see the bottle? Oh, wait, really? Oh, no. A red bicycle. Is this it where it's bicycle or mine? I don't know why it'd be your bicycle. We never had a bike. Well, not that I know. Ah! Not that I know of, anyway. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. I'm sorry, but who names their... Who names the street? Ah! Who names the street? Hey, street. Like, it's not as terrible as some of the ones I've heard. But just seems kind of boring, you know? I wouldn't. Shush, phone. Quiet. What'd you really name. Hold on. Ow! Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. Ah! Whew. Okay. Yes, it is. Alright then. Let's just go. looks more gray than I remembered. It's more blue to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I hope one Grace will be happy to see me. As a kid, I realized, like, a lot of things, like, you remember them as way happier and way more peaceful, or way scarier than they actually are, depending on how you felt about said thing. Like, um, back in the times of chi childness, for me anyway, I was petrified of clowns. But now I have an It Chapter 2 hoodie, and I love the It movies. But it was just, they were ten times scarier to me back then. But then I watched It Chapter, I watched It, the first one, like, maybe two or three years back. And... No, farther, farther, but. And I wasn't scared. I mean, sure, there's some parts that startled me a little bit, but I wasn't petrified like I normally am. You're just, it, it changes. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the kitty go inside? No, I don't have kitty, but I know there's a kitty in key somewhere. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. It's under the flower pot. Wait, what? Ah. Hey, 
to keep Fran. Is this something to do with the universes? Kitty. Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find a key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it, it's very strange. I only found a note I don't remember writing. But I know in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Alright, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Okay, so- Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Yes, Mr. Midnight! Yes, King! But, like... <sighs> Just saying... Fran, I can't believe this is your life. Where'd you come from? Get away. Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? Through the yellow door? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. The front door. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window to the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, is that your missing cat? Wait, what? Yes, but- Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very, very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No! I won't leave my kitty again! Let's wait till he opens the door. No, he is inside the house. I don't care what you say. Mr. Manai, beloved, will open that door, and we're gonna sit here. Because if I click context, he's going to drag me in to the car. And we're going to sit here and we're going to wait. We're, wa <laughs> we're waiting for Mr. Midnight. Okay, I'll click it. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. <laughs> reality. <laughs> you must come with me now. No. No. Fight him. Claw him. Bite him. Bite his arm! I'm calling child endangerment services. No! No! Ooh, you look weird. Awkward silence? Question mark? Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. You already did. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? That f This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Whoa. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, didn't, like, Palantras say, like, because Fran was talking to Palantras about Dr. Deeran being mean. And, but then Polantris responded with, well, he doesn't sound that mean. Maybe he was just doing his job. So maybe we can trust him, actually. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Beloved Fran Bo. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's a pentagram. Is not good. Let his hand. That's from the nurse. Let the newspaper know about Franbo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Oh wait, wait. So okay, 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 okay. So the um the it it said that in the different universes. Like, it were said, like, in the different universes, different things were happening at a time. Like, in one universe, they were having a birthday party, but then in another one, there's different stuff happening. So maybe, in a different, like, it said, like, maybe something, like, colliding here. Because also in, um, Aethersta, they mentioned that it was dangerous and things could come through since Fran came into Aethersta, which is kind of another reality, I'm pretty sure. 
But like, so maybe they're like kind of colliding? So in like one universe, Fran froze to death, but then in the universe we're playing through, she's alive. interesting this is like really interesting the bodies were perfectly slight why would you say that martin lucia Bo dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on hayes street the investi investigating police officer marco homa said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced which would cause a quick instantaneous death also there were no signs of struggle in the house so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise they're unable to fight back the police interrogated grace Dagenhart, his twin sister but the police didn't find any useful information the youngest in the family franbo was found in the woods day after her murder she froze to death so they were saying one thing I think that was brought up was that Fran killed her parents. But I don't think she did. Number one, she's a kid. There is no way in hell that she could make perfect cuts like that. She is weak and, well, clearly she's alive and, you know. I think that the aunt killed them. I don't trust the aunt. I'm sorry, but I don't trust her. Fran has been looking up to her this whole time, and in a lot of things that I've seen, it turns out the one you want to look up to most usually ends up being not the one you should look up to most. So I don't trust it, to be honest. I see that. I also found your medicine. It was switched! You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplat- Ectoplatmidin? Ectoplatmidin? Were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplat- Creates a door between subconscious and conscious. The problem is, the ectoplatm is too high and the door will be open to it. Assuming that means realities, but you know, he's, he doesn't know about that. <laughs> and that can create great confusion in your brain. No wonder all the realities have been like colliding! It's because these pills have been making her, like, combine them all at once. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra- Oh, Fran, please don't. You're gonna make it worse. He's gonna- It's gonna make you seem crazy. You're already put in asylum. You don't need this. You really don't. What's oh, reality? This must be the consequences of duty. Nothing. See? Fran, no, shush! You are only ten! This is not gonna- Oh my goodness. That is not true! If I had more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. On my head, you say? Then may- Then may- I may be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining a thing. You are imagining things, that's all. Oh! Oh, that actually scared me really bad. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but fa father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife on my head. Oh no. Oh, he had abusive parents. Oh no. Poor Dr. Dear, you know? Oh, and then imagine you, you like, grow up with abusive parents, and then you, like, move to, like, a mental asylum as your job as you get older. Oh my god. Did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? Or who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald? Who knows? The aunt! The aunt! She did it! Oh, Fran, no! Stop! Fran, you're making it worse. I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. I wish to, I wish I stayed in there so with Blanchard and the Great Witch. Fran, just stop. Please, for the love of God, if you want him to take you seriously at all. Ah. 
What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. Fran! Stop! Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta- You really gotta calm down, Fran. St oh my god! For the last freaking time! Stop! You are making yourself seem worse than you actually are. This is the worst time for you to tell the doctor what you've seen. You are a child. You have to- Oh my goodness. And it worth is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't all all good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? <gasps> oh, I called it! I called it! I called it! Those were their names! Those were their names! Oh my god. Two girls in the assignment that claim to see a creature named Edward. <gasps> ah! Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Doctor also experimented with them. He said that. Oh no. Oh no. A few minutes later, they died in their bodies with them. Hey, Carter. Two children were thrown into a well after they got so together together and died shortly after. <laughs> See, like that ties a lot of loose ends for me right now. I'm, I'm figured out a lot. It's awful, so you can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help. Maybe we can find something that will lead us responsible for all this disgrace. <gasps> so you're saying Aunt Grace really is evil, I knew it! I'm kidding. I still don't trust Aunt Grace, though. She's kind of, she's kind of sus. She's kind of sus, Carter. <laughs> you can slap me now. Ow! <laughs> Ow. She's sus and you know it. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Plondris was right about you. Boom! Boom! Called it! Called it! <laughs> You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Alright, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm also not. <laughs> but, well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Even though I'm gonna like record the next episode like right after. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this ridiculousness for 59 minutes. And we are getting so close to beating the game. I can feel it at my fingertips. So please be patient with me and we will get to security breach as soon as I get it done. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go follow my Twitch. I will put, uh, the link is on my channel page, um, you can also go follow my Twitter if you want, that's also on my channel page, you'll see the little Twitter and Twitch icon on my channel page, and if you just click on that, it'll take you to mine, to my account, you can follow me on both, and let me know down in the comments of what you think so far and your predictions, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, farewell.